I was looking at the path, looking at what was in front of me and looking at what was behind me and going, this is going to be a huge disaster. So I pulled out my phone and I called ABC New York and I said, I'm tracking this tornado. I said, you get everybody down here from New York now. The thing at that point was a quarter to a half mile wide. It was just growing. And at that point it was uh, destroying all kinds of neighborhoods down here. And we left just about five minutes before it hit Briarwood. As it's coming, we back up and we're on the east side of I-35. Uh, and then you make a decision at that point. You know, because you've seen it and you've just been through those neighborhoods that there are people who are dead, hundreds if not thousands of structures destroyed. And do you keep chasing that tornado as it's going through there or do you stop and come back in? My rule always is uh, human principles trump journalistic principles every day of the week. And that you would uh, be neglecting your responsibility as a citizen by not coming back and seeing what you could do. So that's the decision we made. You, you're, you're in the sea of this, trying to be calm, suspending your own emotions that you feel as you document the first draft of history, is what you're doing. The immediate draft of history of what happened here. By documenting this, that's part of the whole national and international reaction to this crisis and where you know, moral support and, and monetary support comes from is people seeing it, feeling it, feeling connected with the people who are suffering. Um, and sometimes as the news is breaking and you're doing that, it's hard to explain that to some people. So you just keep you know, doing what you're doing.